Hi, this is Dennis, and in this video I'm going to show you how to assign different costs to different classification errors. As you already know, classification models make mistakes, and there are lots of metrics to measure the performance of your, uh, of your model. But all these mistakes, in business, they have different values, different costs associated with them, right? So let's go ahead and check how we can do cost performance analysis in RapidMiner. To do that, I'm going to introduce you a, um, a new data set and also a, a, an already um, well prepared pipeline, a workflow. So first of all, I'm going to load this re a CSV by using the read CSV operator and the CSV that I'm going to load is telco.csv. So this is going to be a churn problem actually. So we are going to, uh, we are attempting to uh, classify customers into two groups churners and the loyal customers. So churn means that the customer is going to leave and use some other company's products, right? So let's go ahead and run this to see the outcome because we have a breakpoint at the end of this block. So let's see how the data look like. All right, so we have the data like this. There are multiple attributes here, but we see that the churn is zero and one. So it's, it's a numerical. Uh, attribute, but this is supposed to be my label. So I have to do something about that. First of all, I need to transform this uh, numerical data into uh, binomial, meaning that it's going to be true or false. So true means that the customer is going to churn and false means it's not going to churn, it's a loyal customer. And moreover, because we are loading it from CSV, we don't have the roles set. So I have to also go ahead and select churn and um, assign the role of label so that I can use it in supervised learning. As always, I'm splitting my data. Let's check the partitions. 70% 70, 70 versus 30% training test set. So the majority, the, the larger part goes to KNN, which is a supervised classification algorithm. And the rest is our test set, which goes to the apply model. And the trained model is an input to apply model block as well. So we have a seemingly uh, unnecessary multiply block here. And we are also measuring the performance. But this, uh, yeah, one thing about this multiply, we will need that in the next step. But let's go ahead and run this, finalize this uh, execution. So see, we have the, um, the label attribute and we also have the predicted labels. If we check the performance, we are going to see that it's 86% accuracy and there is also the, um, the confusion matrix. If you take a look at this confusion matrix, our, when our prediction is true, meanwhile, the prediction, uh, sorry, the, uh, the actual value is false, it means that we are making an error here. So this is a false positive, right? So we are just we're saying this customer is going to leave our company we predicted it's going to leave our company. Meanwhile, this is a loyal customer truly, right? So what are the costs associated with that kind of a mistake? So we sent out an additional email to one more person, right? So it's not that much. If you compare it to the other type of mistake, which is going to be failing to detect a churning customer, right? So the mistake here, the cost of the mistake here is going to be a lost customer, which will be much higher than sending one email or one brochure to the customer. So let's go ahead and assign costs to different type of errors. In order to do that, I'm going to use a well, performance cost block. Here it is. So this is going to take the um, well, the outcome of my model, the predictions as an input. And then I need to set two things here. First of all, the order of the classes. So what are my classes? I have two classes, right? So one is uh, true, meaning that the customer is going to churn. And the second one is false because we turn these into those um, binomial attributes. So false means the customer is not going to churn. It's a loyal customer. We should also assign cost matrices but uh, don't forget the order here, okay? So the first class is true and the second class is false. So I have two by two 
And you see we don't have any costs actually here um, on the diagonal because these are correctly predicted customers' data, okay? All right, so if I take a look at this here, so predicted class 2, meaning that predicted no churn. Meanwhile, the customer is going to churn. So what is this? I'm missing it, right? I'm, I'm missing this uh, the customer. So I'm going to just write here 1000. So, so that I can, uh, so the, 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 the price, the cost of this kind of an error is really high, really steep. In the meanwhile, the other type of error, which means I'm selecting customers unnecessarily uh, that they're going to uh, churn and I'm sending an unnecessary email to them. So the cost is going to be much lower. So I'm just putting these exaggerated values, one versus 1000. But you'll see what it means, all right? So let's go ahead and run this. But before we, I need to make the connections. Yeah, now it should work. All right, so let's go ahead and check the performance again. We had 21 times false positives and 113 times false negatives. Remember, 113 is the, um, is, the, is the worst kind of a mistake in this particular problem, okay? If you take a look at the misclassification cost, we see that 113,021. So this is the, well, calculated cost of all the errors that my model is going to make. Remember, 113 was my bad kind of error, okay? So a false negative here. So failing to detect a churning customer. Therefore, it had the cost of 1,000 per failure. Therefore, it is calculated as 113,000. And this 21, as a matter of fact, comes from the false positives, which is a, well, much more acceptable kind of error here. So that was about cost performance analysis with RapidMiner. This is quite important um, in making decisions whether to use models or not, which models to use. So accuracy does not always tell you the best. It, is not, it does not always give you the best way to measure the performance of a model because in real life, not all the mistakes that a model makes are equal. All right, so think about that.